Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Government and academia recently jointly hosted the inaugural Digital Summit for South Africa's Fourth Industrial Revolution. Natasha Widendahl tells us more. Hi Natasha. Hi. Can you tell us more about the foundation of the summit? Sure. Well, basically 500 people, or over 500 people last week convened in Madrand to discuss the future of digital economy in South Africa. It turned out to be sort of the first for South Africa where they all got together under one roof to actually purposefully guide a direction for South Africa when it comes to the fourth industrial revolution. This all started less than a year ago because of one open letter by Telcom CEO Sipo Maseko who actually printed out a call to action for government, academia, society as a whole to start a national collaborative discussion around the future of digital economy in South Africa. He urged all parties to start developing strategies for how we can best meet um, what is needed for the fourth industrial revolution in South Africa that will help our inequality, help our economy, help jobs. I mean, we can leverage the 4IR for many things. And he was urging everybody to join hands and actually start formulating our own path through. Um, following this, um, a 4IR SA partnership was formed. This um, also included you know, universities, it included um, government and then some major private sector companies as well. And together they started working towards you know, workshops, open workshops that they can use to discuss what they actually needed to focus on and start you know, punting around some ideas of how we can go forward. The research was discussed, the financial sector was discussed, um, industries, manufacturing, pretty much every sector of the um, economy that can actually benefit from 4IR. Following this, they decided that they're actually going to host a digital summit. Um, the digital summit had themes of competitiveness, it had themes of the future of work, it had themes of critical success factors and opportunities and many more that they wanted everybody to come through and discuss. Now, it was technically it was SA's first attempt to deal with 4IR in its entirety um, to try and get together every sector and start formulating plans. Um, because mostly the plans to date or the conversations that have been had to date have been in silos. I mean, it's been either sector focused or it's, you know, industry focused or company focused even on how they deal with it. So everything has been in silos to this point and the idea was to actually start joining it. The Digital Summit also then started sharing the outcomes of the workshops that the 4 RSA partnership had started doing um, and from that point, you know, started opening discussions to build alignment and elevate any activities that they were seeing in the area. And obviously also obtain pledges to further commit to national dialogue on this topic. President Cyril Ramaphosa has come out strongly in favor of the initiative. Why is this important? Well, with government backing, I mean, endorsing the initiative is a positive thing. It means that they will start putting focus towards the right legislation, the right um, regulatory frameworks, um, building support for industry as they try and drive the 4 rr forward. It starts making things a lot more coordinated. If government is on board, private sector is on board, everybody's on board, it starts um, making things a lot easier to, to move it forward in a very collaborative, coordinated manner. Um, from this, I mean, the 4 rr planning has been almost a centerpiece of the president's focus since he came into office. In line with that, he's also formed a commission or a, a planning commission to actually take 4 rr forward or to at least research 4 rr a little bit more. And this planning commission will come up forward with ideas of how government can respond as well, you know, what needs to be done. And that in itself is a positive thing so far. It means that they're looking in the right direction, that possible resources that private sector would need can be released, like Spectrum. I mean, Spectrum has been an issue for um, private sector for a very long time. And the president has promised that the process for spectrum allocation will be done within the next month or so. These are positive steps forward. Um, the government is also then, you know, exploring infrastructure and resources that can help the private sector. They're looking at other technology and innovations from government perspective that can also help the private sector further. In line with this, he's actually like trying to drive 4IR in South Africa because his one key theme is he wants South Africa not just to adopt 4IR, he wants, to, he wants South Africa to lead it. He must be the world leader and show everybody 
we have the technology, we have the skills, we have everything, and this is how it's done. Um, if he's successful, it could be a very you know, positive thing for South Africa. But in that saying that, that also requires collaboration on every level across South Africa. What can we expect post the summit? Post the summit, um, it's now up to everybody who was involved to start developing a coherent and workable national response. I mean, these were just the first discussions. Um, so from there, it, it's, it's a step in the right direction. The parties now will all go put their heads down. They will work to develop draft strategies, draft policy responses, you know, enhance a research base. Let's you know, see where they need to go with that. Um, broaden inputs. They obviously need a lot more inputs because it's such a vast um, industry. 4RR like, tackles everything. So it, they need a really, really broad input space. Um, then they're going to start converging positions. And from that, they're going to start, you know, formulating draft declarations and start, f you know, getting people's full commitment from that. Once all of that is done, they're going to host, within a year, they promise, a summit of declarations. At this summit, um, the work streams will actually be cons uh, consolidated into coherent uh, national responses. A commitment will be made to the declarations. Um, the parties will then start all agreeing on monitoring and evaluation mechanisms. And then they'll start agreeing on future pathways. Once that's all done, once everything's got set in place, all we'll need to do is implement. Thank you. That's the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis. Also, don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.